Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest, 8 Second Gaming, and is this it? Is this finally the season that we see Gibraltar dethroned from his power position in the meta? Mad Maggie is joining the Apex Games, and along with her, we are seeing Gibby get countered finally. For those that don't know, we just got more footage from Respawn showing all of Mad Maggie's abilities in more depth. So let's break down her kit piece by piece and show you exactly why she is anti Gibraltar. But first off, if you are excited about the new season, you're ready, you're finally gonna hit a new rank that you never thought possible. Well, if that is you, then you need to check out the Game Leap website right now. We have highly in depth courses, including legend guides, VOD reviews, and tons more, all from top level players. So if you want to get a leg up on your grind this season, click the link in the description right now and get your membership. But now, back to Mad Maggie. First off, her passive, Warlord's Ire. This is a two-part passive. First part is where Maggie deals damage to a legend, she then sees them outlined for a period of time. Kinda like how Fuse can see enemies outlined inside his Ring of Fire. And I know that a lot of people are a little bit bummed that another scan legend is entering the meta, and I get that. Bangalore is getting another silent nerf, but this will also play into her tactical as to why it's a big deal versus Gibraltar. And secondly, in her passive, she moves faster when carrying a shotgun. Now, we are in a shotgun meta, and with hammer points returning and the Mozambique actually being semi decent without them, we're probably still gonna be in a shotgun meta. And if you've been in a bubble fight before, you know how important shotguns are in them. And if you have a speed boost when using one, you'll especially know why this is a huge advantage in bubble fights and why certain legends like Octane and Bangalore are hard to nail down in them. But that's not all. Her tactical, Riot Drill, is a fire drill that attaches to a surface and burns enemies on the other side, and a new cinematic from Respawn confirms it will go through Gibraltar bubbles, making them unplayable. So if you get a knock on someone, Gibby goes to dome res, he can now be burned out and force him off the res, and or thirst the kill through the dome. But couple that with her passive, and even if you aren't able to get the kill, you'll have wall hacks on whoever was caught in the fire. Plus, when you're using a shotgun, you'll be in and out of the bubble really quickly. Her passive does seem really broken when using them in bubble fights. And this effectively takes away Gibraltar's main ability and usefulness in the meta all because one tactical. It's basically the same as Bloodhound making Bangalore useless with one scan. Oh, but you thought she was done? No, 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 far from that. Maggie's ultimate is called Wrecking Ball, and when thrown it travels in a straight line, bouncing off terrain, detonating when it comes in contact with an enemy, and leaving behind speed boosts. Yeah, so basically Mad Maggie is literally just all designed to counter Gibraltar. A passive that gives you wall hacks, a tactical that burns through his dome, and an ult to help you get into the fight faster while dealing damage potentially, this kit is literally designed to be the Gibraltar killer. And I can hear some of the comments coming in, I'm not complaining about this, don't get me wrong, I'm actually very excited for Maggie and her kit. Gibby has been in the meta since Season 3, he had a 100% pick rate in North America ALGS playoffs. He has had such a long time to be a meta character, it will be nice to have him taking a back seat for once. And it will be nice to not have my teammates forcing me to play Gibraltar for once. Will I be maining Maggie though? Possibly. I am a Bloodhound main normally, I love the Hound, but Maggie's kit seems to share a lot of similarities for the playstyle. Not the abilities, but the way you'd use them in fights. So in order to counter Gibby's on Olympus, cause he has been a much needed legend on that map in previous seasons, I might just run Maggie and see how amazing she actually is. It will probably have to come down to the damage her drill does, and if you can tank it or not, but my best guess it would almost be like a thermite grenade. And oh baby, burning someone's shields off through the dome, then sliding in with hammer points is going to be the meta, I can already see it, I am pumped because I do like hammer points. This season has a lot of positives and some weird negatives, that, but I'm pumped and I want to see where this all goes. If you're excited too and want to stay up to date with even more Season 12 videos, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to know when we post a new video. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.